G'day and welcome to my garage. The, uh, the piece that's in the chuck at the present moment, that's, um, uh, that's the uh, screw support, the lead screw support the, uh, on the, the mill, the one that travels along the, the base, the same as uh, on a lathe. Um, again, it had a hollow in the, in the back, uh, straight out of the casting. So I've, uh, I'm machining the back of this off. Uh, not much, not much to go at the moment, but it, it takes a, a fair while because um, even though this is a small piece of aluminium, it does suffer from uh, out of balance. And as you can see, the the lathe, lathe moving there. So I'm not much, I'm not spinning much faster than that, but. Um, But it, it's cleaning up. It just just takes a long time to get over that fairly large distance, which is uh, approximately it's a hundred millimeters or four inches. So and uh, the travel of the of the slide won't do from from centre which is um, 18 millimetres, a bit over three inches. Um, I can't do that all in, in one go. The, um, actually what's stopping me is the cross slide can't go back far enough because of the, the shield on the back. I must look at um, uh, probably cutting a hole, a slot in the back of the shield so the, so the, uh, the cross slide can travel through the shield and uh, cover the full, the full 80, uh, 80 millimetres. But for the time being, I'm doing it in two stages, cutting the uh, surf, surf foot through uh, the centre hub and, uh, and then moved everything over to uh, surface hook this back here. I did have it done, but I had stopped and came back to it, and it's, uh, it's left an uneven... It's actually left a hollow. I don't know why, but anyhow, I'll um, I'll true that up, spin it around again, put it on a mandrel, and um, uh, turn the face off because that's this is actually the back side that bolts up against the um, uh, the bed. Uh, so I've, I've got to face the front the front edge off and uh, just just clean it up in general. Again, uh, this is the size of the bush. And as you can see, this is a little bit better than the other, but there's still, I've still got about eight, nine millimetres that's not covered by the bush, so I've got plenty of room to play, uh, play around with it. The outside diameter of um, this hub has to be taken down to, to match the size of the, uh, hand, the hub on the hand wheel. So we'll get, I'll get back to you soon. Looks like we're at the end. That's taken all of six minutes. Catch you later. I um, when I machined the other side, I held it in the three jaw chuck by the, the rough casting of the hub um, but I had a lot of vibration there was no support to this um, to this leg um, and it's also way out of balance it still is out of balance but uh, hopefully the vibration will be cut back um, but we'll see how we go <laughs>
Yeah, just finishing off the um, the leg of the screw support, just cleaning it up. This could have been left um, rough cast, but um, yeah, I get a bit excited sometimes. Okay, we're, we're boring this out with a 12mm um, a uh, drill, that's the largest I have uh, for this particular job. The, um, the bushing, outside of the bushing is 18mm, so I'll have to um, run a boring bar through it to um, bring it out to 18mm. But for the moment, the 12mm will um, go through it. Well, 16, better go to 18, so we'll creep up on it, oh well, that's the only way you can do it, is creep up with this machine, but it um, hasn't taken as long as I thought it would do. Sneaking up on the last of the uh, boring meal. Maybe not. Hmm. 
Waving off. Clean two. Off the vice. Well, there we go. That was a uh, beautiful fit actually. So I've got the um I might just clean this up a bit with the file, make it look uh, prettier. But I won't get um, over excited, I'll just get excited. But there you go, the bush fitted nicely, so um, that's, that's that piece. Okay. Thank you.